For the past couple of weeks, I've been working on improving the procedural map generation. I started with a smaller feature. I extended the whole system with a decoration layer. Decoration assets can be defined for tile prefabs and there is a chance that there will be a random decoration placed on the tile. Then two and a half bigger change came. First add cycle generating. One issue was that the generated corridors were too winding. And yes, it can be cool and fitting for some levels, but most of the time they felt off. So now there is a new type of cycle besides corridor. It's called connector. Yeah, I know, it's very creative. These are short, straight corridors between rooms. And just as before, a circularity rate can be defined for levels, but now the main sources of circularity are these connectors. And if we need those less straightforward winding corridors, we have to adjust the corridor rate of the cycles in the map. In future versions, the minimum and maximum number of turns in corridors will be also adjustable. The other big change is at doors, or officially entry points. They are no longer just points, they are lines with a length. Before this feature, doors were only one tile wide, and also sometimes two tiles wide, but that was a bit buggy. I wanted a flexible system. Now doors can have any width, and rooms are always correct after connecting them. A minimum and maximum width can be also defined, thus letting me have mixed levels. Now I can make great holes and even small corridors. And the final half feature is irregular shaped rooms. It's only half done because it's a bit uncontrollable at the moment. But basically what it does is that it adds or subtracts smaller rooms to a base room, thus resulting in an irregular shaped room. With these new features, the diversity of maps is much larger. We can already have very rectangular, prison-like, narrow levels, or maze-like catacombs, or even levels with a more natural feel with irregular shaped rooms, like, for example, caves. These map generation improvements took a lot more time than I initially guessed it, which is a bit bad because the semester soon ends, my weeks are busy, and I've still wanted to finish a lot of things. Next I will finish the irregular rooms, and then implement a system which lets me easily define and save map and level generation parameters. Then I will design some unique room prefabs and a few dozen map fragments. My plan is that the generation will work in a hybrid way. For example, in Diablo, procedural maps are made of randomly chosen pre-designed fragments. But in Elden, in a standard map, rooms will be half pre-designed rooms randomly chosen and half fully procedural. But this could change, of course. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe and leave a like. Thanks for watching and see you next time.